What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. After every since the young brother, Darius Jackson, has come out and taken a stance against Kiki Palmer, I've noticed um, a lot of things have transpired and a lot of people are attacking him. You, you've seen Aoki Simmons attacking the brother. Um, you just seen a whole bunch of situations going on with that. A lot of women are coming after him. It's just been very sad, right? But, and again, the brother, if you wanna say that what he did was wrong, which is taking it public. And again, for me as a man, um, I would not have tried to do that. Maybe when I was younger, I would have done it. But being at my age now, if I have a problem with the woman that I'm dating, I'm going to deal with it behind closed doors. But hey, some guys want to deal with it in a different way. I understand. But for me, I wouldn't handle it that way. But he's his own man. He can do what he wants. But now what you're seeing is the young man never called her um, out of her name. He didn't call her um, a whore or anything like that. But it seems like now the women of black social media have turned against him and now they're looking for things to bring up against him. This is no different than Devon Franklin when he, um, you know, divorced Megan Good. Of course, a lot of the women there were talking bad about him. Uh, this is the same thing that goes on with um, some aspects of Corey Hardrick, um, Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Again, Corey Hardrick and uh, uh, Tia Maori. You know, these guys can't catch a break. And what most of them do is they just stay silent. That was his mistake. What you see now are people going up and trying to find things about him to come after him about. And I, I wanna talk about this situation here. And I, I find this to be very interesting. When you look at this, they're going back into 2016. I don't know how old the young man was at the time. He gave his opinion on the Alton Sterling situation. And so did I want to happen, all right? I also gave um, this opinion, or a very similar opinion at the time. Um, now, again, I have you know changed and, 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 and have seen some things differently, but even if I felt this way now, I wouldn't even say this. But he says this, what would have happened if Alton Sterling listened and followed orders when the officers yelled repeatedly to get on the ground, okay? People tend to ignore the fact that you're supposed to obey the law regardless of the circumstances. Alton Sterling didn't comply. All right, you can have your opinion on the Alton Sterling situation. Again, I did at the time. And again, people were bringing up past things about Alton Sterling, his past. Again, that defeats the argument. And that's what they're trying to do with this brother. They're trying to say that Darius Jackson is anti-black. Oh, you see what he's doing? He's taking a stance at Kiki Palmer. Well, look at him now. Like he's an anti-black man. Like he hates the black community. This is what they're trying to say. And what people don't understand is what does that have to do with what he's talking about? And primarily, this is something that I have, uh, I take umbrage with or have issues with because him having his opinion on Alton Sterling, it didn't stop her from being with him. She don't care that he took that opinion on Alton Sterling. She wasn't worried about that. She never said, you know what? I can't sleep with you because you have that opinion on Alton Sterling. Kiki Palmer probably doesn't give a damn about Alton Sterling, okay? The, the reality is you are saying that because you don't like the fact that he stood up to Kiki Palmer. So what you're trying to do now is you're trying to punish the guy. See, oh, you go against the grain. Let's dig up something in your past. But you're not dealing with what he's talking about. We're not dealing with what he talked about in 2016. We're not dealing with what he said in 2016. It could have been um, tasteless. It could have been offensive. And, and again, that could be all fine and good. We're not dealing with that. What I'm dealing with is why are you mad about what he said about Kiki Palmer? He felt that the lady he was with was not behaving in a way that is befitting for a mother or a wife. But you don't want to deal with that. So let's try to 
discredit him. Now, let me say something. 2016 and 2023, it's a seven year difference. There are people who were alive in 2016 who were healthy. In 2023, they're not here. We have a new president in 2023 than we did in 2016 right we have new millionaires new products on the market new companies some companies went out of the business so what 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 point do you try to prove when you try to throw something from 2016 onto the argument today but this is what people do when they don't want to deal with what you're talking about he's dealing with a concept here my woman the mother of my child is out here dressed inappropriately and she's a mother. I don't want my son seeing his mother in that formality. And again, when women look at protection, and I try to tell guys all the time, they're not looking for criticism or direction from men. When women look at protection, that's not what they're talking about. It's not about following order or following suit or, 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 or letting a man lead. A lot of women have a problem with that. This is why I tell you guys on purposely, they are on purpose. They're dealing with men who make less than them so that those men will be less likely to challenge them. They're not looking at anything. What I'm talking about. They're not looking at that. Women are not looking at that. They are looking at the fact that I want you to be bigger than me, taller than me, give me an offspring. And if I need you to somehow fight for me or maybe give me money, that's your rele you're relegated to do those things. But if you ever feel that you are going to listen to what I'm saying, you're going to be instructing me to do something. If that's what you think, you, 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 you're crazy. That's how dare you ever believe. Listen to what I'm saying. This is important. How dare you ever believe that you're going to check somebody like me. And if you come as a man, with that mentality, if you're not submissive to their will, for whatever reason, if you're not bowing down to what they're talking about, let's discredit you. I'm going to tell you another person that they discredited, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, from 2020 to 2022, in that two-year period, took calls from women who were willing to come onto a show. He never went to find anybody, chased anybody to come to the show. Either you came or you didn't. He didn't care. They asked his opinion asking his opinion asking that all right he gave their his opinion of what the situation was whether they liked it or not they left what did women do and to be fair a lot of jealous men let's somehow discredit what he's talking about by pulling up his past or what we can conceive as his past let's try to embarrass him let's try to make him look stupid let's try to make him look bad in any way that we can mitigate what he's talking about so he doesn't have any effect on others, let us behave in that. Let us do that in any way, shape, or form possible because we can't deal with what he's talking about intellectually. So what we can do is that we could try to discredit him. And this is one of the reasons why you have so many men and women can't have particular uh, discussions or relationships to be truthful because somebody is fearful of somebody trying to dox you. Where do you work? Snitching on this person. And we're not dealing with the argument here. The argument is okay. The argument is my woman looks like X, Y, and Z. I don't like it. Not the fact that you got to go out there and try to make this man suffer. And he hasn't said nothing about black women, his particular, um, view on the Alton Sterling case has nothing to do with what he's talking about. And that's trash. But this is typically what happens in black America when you don't do what they think you should do. Let's try to discredit the guy. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity drunk. Did you follow you subscribe to the bell? We're out.